Hey guys and welcome back to this week's update on the 30 gallon mixed reef and today in this video I'm going to be revealing some big big news that's currently in construction for this tank. So in the last video guys I said that I was um, I was currently constructing something outside the tank, uh, for, well for this tank. Um, so I'm going to show you that in just 30 seconds. Um, before I move on, I just want to quick give a uh, shout out to Jay's Real Reef UK. Um, he's got a brilliant, brilliant channel. Uh, he's just started a uh, little nano tank. Uh, he's completely new to the hobby, uh, and he's got about just a few hundred subscribers. Quite a new channel, uh, but he's growing really quick. So uh, help him out. Go subscribe to his channel. That's uh, Jay's Real Reef. Um, there will be a link in the description, saving you uh, type typing it in. Um, so yeah, uh, I did post a community post uh, yesterday, um, revealing semi what I'm uh, what I'm doing. Uh, so some of you may already know, and my membership members already know as well. So, so without further ado, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I've been up to. All right, so here it is, guys. Um, excuse the mess, but. Um, yeah, this is what I'm up to. Um, rescaping the tank. Um, this is what I've got so far. Uh, I've obviously nowhere near done. Um, probably about halfway through it. Uh, still got to do a little bit more work on this sculpture here. Uh, I'm currently doing this one right now. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, excuse the mess. There's cement everywhere. There's glue, pots, and you know, it's, it's quite a big mess. It's quite a big job though. It's going to take quite a while. Uh, this is I'm already th I've already been doing this for uh, four days I think three or four days straight um, for literally hours and hours every day um, it is a big job um, so yeah um, on Sunday I got a pot of this which is um, Niles construction putty well it's cement actually um, it's really really solid uh, I've been well this is the second pot I've already gone through a whole pot which is a uh, down there along with piles and piles of Marco rock um, yeah this is really good stuff it's really hold uh, together this whole scape really solid is absolutely brick brick solid and uh, I saw some other people using it as well uh, and they were complaining like it's really um you can really notice it but to be, to be honest you can't really see it this is all putty here and you can't really see it that much it's all all, all this is cement all, it's, it kind of just blends with the rock a little bit uh, it's like a really, really light grey. Uh, when it's fresh on there, it kind of it's kind of like this, this dark, nearly black colour. It's really dark, really dark brown. Uh, but over time, over a few hours, it just goes to this really light grey, and you don't really see it. Uh, I've also used some D and D aquarium putty, which is supposed to use for coral. Um, it's usually it usually doesn't do a great job for uh, big structures like this, but it's good to hold together these tiny little pieces here. Um, little bits of rubble. Uh, I've also used super glue as well. You can see all this white uh, streams of it all over to make sure it's really solid. Uh, so this kind of aquascape is called a negative space aquascape or an NSA aquascape and it's um it's very open so it's like um it's like a, it's like a big boulder with all these uh, little cracks in it loads of uh, gaps for fish to swim through, for corals to grow. Uh, I think it's a really, really nice design, uh, what I've done here and starting to do with this one here. So all of this is Marco Rock. Uh, there's a couple pieces like this ledge here. Uh, that's actually a dead piece of coral skeleton, uh, which is super light. That's why I used it there. Uh, so it's not too much weight uh, for, the, uh, for the putty. Uh, there were a few bits of live rock as well. Uh, that I had outside, but um, I didn't end up using them. I still got a bunch of rock down here. You see piles of it, loads of marker rock, lots in this bag here. Bits of rubble. Uh, so all these pieces were big boulders, like they were quite big pieces. And what I did is I got a chisel and a hammer, and I broke it all up into all these rubble bits. Some of these uh, medium-sized pieces, um, and I've uh, stuck them all together into the shape like this. So consider, consider guys, this is the first time I've ever done something like this. I usually just put stack rocks one on top of the other, just kind of lean them up, up, up against each other. Never ever attempted to uh, cement them all together, creating a, a tree type structure. Um, I thought it'd be a lot more difficult. I mean, it is, but um, 
I thought it'd be uh, I thought it'd be a lot more problems like you know it breaking or falling apart and stuff. But no, um, it's it's just very very time consuming. You've got to take your time with it. But I got all, all the time in the world to do this. Uh, so this is all I'm doing right now, uh, just creating this. As soon as I finish this video, I'll get back onto it. This video is going to be in two parts because I don't want this video being too long. Uh, so the second video I'll do on this will be the scape finished and me, uh, I'll, I'll do a little uh, video of me putting it into the tank and uh, taking all this apart, well, all the rock scape apart, all the corals taken off and then replaced onto the new scape. Uh, so it is going to be a, uh, a big, big job, uh, very stressful, very time consuming, uh, but we will get there hopefully before the end of the week. So let me know uh, what, what you guys think of this scape. Um, yeah, I think it's coming along really, really nicely. This piece is one of my favourite pieces here. It's really plate. This was quite difficult to get on because it's such a heavy piece. I had to use super glue, um, two different types of aquarium putty, the D&D one and uh, this one right here, which is by... I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, but this one here. Um, and cement, so three different types of things just to stick this plate and I've got this boulder on top of it uh, cemented down to weigh it down um, that's a really nice piece there, I'm really proud of that uh, I've got a template down, just for, um, to some lined paper all, all sellotaped together for the uh, dimension surface area of my tank um, the reason I'm doing two separate sculptures, um, one of the reasons being I think I prefer it uh, because I, I kind of want a little bit of a valley uh, between the two. Uh, second reason being is, if I show you, I have a brace bar in the middle of the tank. So I've only got, you know, this square uh, to fit the um, the scape in. So I'll put the first, the first one in, I'll drop it down and I'll slide it along to this side. Uh, if I would, it, I'd probably have to take the skimmer out. Uh, which isn't too hard of a job, I don't think. And then I'll put the second one down, put it down, rotate them. Um, yeah, I've measured them all uh, very carefully. Um, the height of them, I want to get this one a little bit taller, uh, if I can. If I can gain a little bit on this, I, um, I will. Uh, they're, they're taken up, uh, well, the size they are at the moment, uh, they'll go up to about here, halfway up the wave pump, uh, which is what you want. You want the uh, about two-thirds maximum up towards the tank so I want to get the height no more than the uh, the frag rack really absolutely maximum the frag rack um, but kind of the same kind of level that it is at the moment uh, I will put some more uh, community posts up so keep an eye out for those um, maybe uh, daily actually um, uh, see, see how this is uh, see how this is getting on uh, daily uh, pictures of what I've improved on what I've added to the scape Another shout out for this video is uh, that Seki, um, a bit of a unusual name, but uh, it's a again great, great, great channel. Um, he's about my age actually. Uh, got a, I believe it's a Reefer 170. Um, yeah, he's starting up that tank. Uh, he's gone through quite a few problems on it. Uh, he's got a decent amount of knowledge considering uh, my age, because there's not usually many people at my age uh, that knows the kind of stuff. You know, this hobby is very complicated. Lots, uh, there's there's a lot to it. So to wrap this video up, uh, two channels you need to uh, subscribe to. Uh, both links in the description. Go click on them, go watch their videos and subscribe. The second part of this video will be coming in about a week's time. Um, at the latest, it depends on when I get this done. Uh, when I get it in the tank, when I do all the filming and the editing, uh, that's going to be a big video. So next week will be quite a big video. Um, well, so is this as well. Big reveal um, to do. So I'll catch up with you guys uh, in a week's time uh, with this scape finished and going into the tank. So uh, I'll see you guys uh, in a bit. Bye.